This is an example of a regenerative circuit. The way the regenerative circuit works is uh, the return flow does not go to the reservoir. Instead, it is added to the pump flow. So the total flow um, increases. Uh, so QP plus QR. That's the total flow that goes into the when you engage this side. Now let me go show to the next um, when the uh, when the extension uh, cylinder extension is engaged this side of the four-way directional valve as you can see so the return flow here it added to the pump flow and that makes the total QP plus QR so as the flow increases then the velocity of this so you, you get here QT so the velocity will increase because velocity is Q by A. So the total flow will increase. Now check that video where I have developed for the uh, regenerative circuit uh, equation. So for regenerative circuit, velocity is basically QP pump flow divided by the A rod area of the cylinder. So it's a little bit different than usual. You can go back and check that video how it was developed. Um, so, assume that this pump produces about 50 gallon per minute. This pressure setting valve is set at 1000 psi. I'm just making some number to show you this example calculations. Let's say this uh, blanket of the cylinder has about uh, 15 inches square <coughs> area, and then this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then this uh, rod and area is, uh, let's assume, 5 inches square, uh, something like that. Then uh, if we want to calculate the extension velocity, it's going to be QP 50 gallon per minute by the rod and area, which is 5 inches square. Now the gallon per minute I can cancel by the gallon cancel that divide by gallon 231 inch cube is one gallon I can cancel that inch as well now let's cancel the per minute so I want to cancel the per minute so I will multiply by minute and that is equal to 60 seconds so here I have not changed any number however I change the unit so if I calculate that I have found 38.5 uh, inch per second now this inch again, I can change it to foot. I know that one, 12 inches is 1 foot, so I have got 3.2 foot per second for the extension velocity. If I want to see the load carrying capacity, so load is uh, for the regenerative circuit, check that video where I develop all of these formulas. That would be the pressure times the area of the rod end. So that is 1000 psi times the rod end area, which is 5 inches square. So that is basically uh, 5000 pounds. That's the force of extension. So this cylinder can maximum extend so this force would be 5,000 pounds maximum during extension. If I calculate the power from this P equal to FV divided by let's say power during extension 550 so that is in horsepower if I put all this number 5,000 pounds times the velocity 3.2 feet per second divided by 550 that is in horsepower I have got that 29.1 horsepower <coughs> now the pump original horsepower if it's producing 50 gallon per minute at 1000 psi then the horsepower for the pump is also 29.1 horsepower now by 
so the only energy is coming from this pump. So this pump is the energy producer. You cannot just simply reconnect some lines in another place to another and add some power. So that's not possible. In regenerative circuit, what happens is, you know that F is equal to FV. Power is equal to force times velocity. So if you increase the velocity, basically the force carrying ability decreases. So that is what happened. So power is constant, energy is constant, unless you are not adding another power source here in this circuit. Now let's discuss about the retraction stroke. So we have done the extension stroke. Now this is the retraction stroke for the regenerative circuits. So that's the retraction stroke. Retraction stroke, so similarly, uh, however, in retraction is stroke, the flow in fact goes to the reservoir. So, so let, me sh let me show you all the calculation. You can check that video where I have shown you how to get this formula for regenerative circuit, both extension and retraction stroke. So velocity of extension, retraction is calculated by the pump flow divided by the area of the pump minus the rod area. <coughs> so that is 50 divided by, I have this piston area 10, AP was 10 and rod area was 5 inches square. I think it was 15, sorry guys, that was 15 inches square, the pump area. So 5 minus, 15 minus 5 inch square and this was in gallon per minute once again I can convert this gallon per minute to one gallon is 231 inch cube times per minute so I have to multiply by minute divide by 60 seconds I have found that I have the number directly in foot so that only inch will left so one foot is 12 inch that's all conversion. I found that 1.6 feet per second. That's the retraction velocity. <coughs> now the force carrying capacity, the load is force times the area of the piston minus area of the rod. Check that video where I have developed this force equation as well. So 10,000 PSI times 15 inches square minus 5 inches square. So I have found that uh, simple calculation, 10,000 PSI. This is a lot of pressure. Now the power, if I calculate from here, it should be that 29.1 force times velocity and then divide by 550, that's in horsepower. So if I plug all this number, 10,000 PS pound, Sorry, the unit here is not pound. This is pound per square, is that's inch square. So inch square gone, it should be only pound. So 10,000 pounds times uh, the velocity is 1.6 foot per second. Should have used another color pen, lots of red and blue here. 550 horsepower. So that is equal to 29.1 horsepower. So. Uh, basically, you're not really adding power, you're just converting one form to the other. So I think that's, the, that's it about the regenerative circuit example calculation.